Recently, the Captain America vs Red Hulk battle was revealed. I'm not certain about my opinion of that set yet, but I do have a strong opinion on the price. What is that? $55 for a poorly made fighter jet, 3 mini and 1 big fig. The piece count of this set sits at a measly 223 pieces, which only makes the retail price more ridiculous. But this moved me to take a look at the evolution of LEGO's prices and see where that's actually always been so bad. So subscribe to the channel and let's get into it. Let's start by immediately looking at the facts. Is LEGO getting more expensive? Yes and well, no. Kinda. For anyone over the age of 15 or so, the concept of inflation should be familiar to you. Explaining it and all the various ways by which it's caused would inflate this video to like 2 hours, but short and simple, products become more expensive with time. This starts with existential items and then transitions into pretty much everything, like LEGO. So let's have a look at two Star Wars sets and see what this means in our case. From 2013, we have the Republic Gunship. This set had a retail price of $120 and came with 1,175 pieces. Opposite of that, we've got the Coruscant Guard Gunship from last year, with a piece count of 1,083 and a retail price of $140. What becomes obvious immediately here, 2013 set doesn't just have about 100 pieces more, it's also a whole 20 bucks cheaper. That's at least what it seems like, when you adjust that price tag for inflation, suddenly you're looking at $162 instead of $120 and now the difference is $22 in the other direction. We can do this with all kinds of sets now, 2014's Imperial Star Destroyer for example, which would retail for $170 nowadays, while the actual current one goes for $160. This is literally just to show why prices do constantly increase, because I feel like some people just throw around that LEGO's getting more expensive without proper explanations. Here's a very uninformed post on that matter for example, from someone who I deeply despise, LEGO Hyo. This post is totally relevant to my point, and not just here because I hate the guy. But this isn't to invalidate the opinion that LEGO is getting more expensive, since if you ask me, there's more to it than just prices adjusting to global economic movements. First, we do have to look into the comparability of sets again. One of the measures most used by LEGO fans to create a set's value is price per piece. It's exactly what it sounds like, you simply just calculate how much you're paying for each piece in the set. This is an incredibly flawed way of calculating a set's value, but it's still used quite often and if you look at just those numbers, the rise in LEGO prices seems even more minuscule. Take for example one of 2024's most overpriced sets, Jedi Bob Starfighter. With a piece count of 305 and a retail price of $40, we get a price per piece of 13 cents. Now compare this to 2008's Anakin's Jedi Starfighter, which has an adjusted price per piece of nearly 19 cents. Suddenly, 2024 set seems completely reasonably priced, but this is where the inflation of piece counts comes into play. LEGO's introduction of new parts has greatly benefited the overall quality of sets, but it has made a comparison of price per piece numbers basically impossible. Two sets can have vastly different piece counts, as I've just shown you with the two Jedi Starfighters, yet still deliver a near identical product. This helps LEGO out quite a bit in justifying higher prices, since you are technically getting more product for it. But what other reasons are there, because that alone totally isn't enough to justify the claim of LEGO getting more and more expensive. What does aid in that though is LEGO's expansion into the adult market. Over the last decade, LEGO has progressively released bigger and bigger sets. With those bigger sets also come bigger prices and especially over the last years, LEGO has developed a large section of 18 plus sets. Let's go back all the way to 1995, when the Control Center 2 released. With a retail price of then $220 and now $455, it was actually really expensive. It took 7 years for that price to be beaten when the Imperial Star Destroyer released for an adjusted $470. 2007 trumped that again with the Ultimate Collector's Millennium Falcon, which would retail for $760 nowadays. 2017 then, of course, was when we reached the Magnum Opus. One Millennium Falcon dethrones the other with a retail price of $800. LEGO has actually raised the price nowadays to $850, which is cheaper than they adjusted 800 bucks from 2017, which would come out to more than $1,000 today. So yeah, LEGO's upper ceiling is the highest it's ever been. This year alone, 24 sets have been released with a retail price of $200 or above. For comparison, a decade ago in 2014, only 10 sets were released with a retail price of over an adjusted 200 bucks. Go even further back another decade to 2004 and that number shrinks to 4. So, what we know now is that the most expensive sets of all time are currently out right now and that there are more of them than ever before. This leads to another point in favor of LEGO actually becoming more expensive. While researching for this video, I found this table of LEGO's average price over the years. Shout out to Bricker, love you guys. So I took a look at the prices and adjusted them for inflation, as I don't think that was applied yet, and well, the average price in 2022 was the highest since 2004. 2004 was weirdly expensive at an average price of $75, but right after it comes 2022 with an adjusted $70 and 2023 with 64 bucks. In the early 2010, it fell to below $40, so saying that LEGO on average got more expensive is factually correct, even after adjusting for inflation. 
So the two things we can say now are price per piece numbers aren't that accurate and on average LEGO got more expensive also due to the newer, bigger, more expensive sets. And last but not least, there's also more LEGO than ever. In 2022, LEGO released nearly a thousand products, stretching from normal sets to accessories to magazine gifts to whatever. In contrast to that, in 2010, LEGO only put out 530, just a little over half of what they've got nowadays. That's pretty insane and also explains why people have the feeling that LEGO is getting more expensive. There's just so much more of it than ever before. Now combine that with all the previous points. Inflation is getting worse. LEGO focuses more on D2C sets, which drives up the average of more sets than ever before. And of course, there are quality issues and such, which contribute to the feeling of paying more and getting less. I think one thing that goes unstated often though as well is that LEGO is and has been a luxury toy. If you compare it to any other toy brands, which actually cater to kids the way LEGO does, you'll realize how much cheaper all of them are. This obviously isn't to discredit how LEGO's price has increased over the past, but it's just to show that it was never comparably cheap to start with. If you want to see an example of how prices have risen in the past though, check out my review of the X-Men X-Jet, a great set that is massively over price though, right here. And if you just want to see me waffle about certain topics, click the place right here of me just covering whatever comes to mind. However though, I hope you enjoyed and until next time, goodbye.